Hey guys, Shaber1000 here. Today, we're going to try one of these meatball makers. Supposedly, you can make stuffed meatballs with this. Let's check it out. Okay guys, so let's uh, see what we got here. I know what's in here, but you guys don't, but I've been waiting on this. It's a Wish product Monkey got for me, because I've been wanting one for a long time, because I've been seeing everybody review these. Now, some reviews are good, some not so good, and sometimes they'll stick inside there. So before we do anything, once I wash this off, I'm going to put a little bit of oil in here. I forgot cooking spray, so I'm just going to put a little bit of oil. You know, I'm going to wipe some oil in here with a napkin, and uh, we'll go from there. Of course, there's no instructions, but I have seen this done. Um... What you're going to do is you're going to put your meat pat your meat inside here. Then you're going to push that down, and that'll give it a little indentation, and you can fill it with stuff, or you can just make a regular meatball. But what we're going to do is we're going to fill it up. We're just going to put some cheese in the middle of this, and that's how we're going to do ours. But I've been wanting this; it just came today, so. Let's check it out. I'm gonna go ahead and get this washed off. And I'll get my oil over here and we'll start making meatballs. Okay guys, get this all cleaned off and dried off. Um, got some, I'm just gonna use a napkin because I forgot to get uh, paper towels as well. But all I'm gonna do is just take a little bit and lightly coat that because I know from what I have seen they seem to stick for a lot of people and you only get like one or something out of it so that's why I wanted to use like a cooking spray or something to see if that will help so I'm just going to lightly coat this and we're going to see what's going to, what's what happens with it okay Because uh, we were asked, like, what was our favorite meal to make together? And it was meatballs, was the answer. And so this way, you kind of make it a little more fun, okay? Alright, now, I'm just going to set them inside this pan here. Now I've got this mixed up. I've got a. It's not really how to make my, how I make my meatballs. It's more of about this thing. But I'll tell you what I did. I put some. Uh, I put. I got two pounds of of, of uh, ground hamburger, ground beef, and I got a pound or a sixteen ounce um, sausage roll sausage. Mixed it up in here with two eggs, and I've got some. Uh, I put some crackers. I. Cr I smashed up some crackers just for a binding agent. I know a lot of people is probably going to say, well, you're not supposed to mix all that stuff up. You're just supposed to use a uh, regular hamburger. Well, I look at it this way. If this is the way I make my meatballs, this is the way I'm going to try it out. So let's put these in here. I don't know how much meat I'm supposed to use or anything. But we're just going to try this and see. I'll put a little more in there. Trial and error, right, guys? All right. Now, supposedly, you see that? You push that down and you bring it up. And I guess it makes these little divots that you can put your, which like I said, I'm just going to put a little cheese in each one. Ok, 
because a lot of times I'll just mix the cheese in with my burger and my sausage but then I'm going to bake these in the oven at you know about you know whatever 350 degrees for about 40 minutes or whatever I'm just going to keep checking until the internal temperature where it should be I'm going to bring up the temperature probably to around 168 to 170 I don't know, we'll, we'll just go from there. Um, I'm sure I'm putting too much in here, but... It'll be fine, right? Now, you're supposed to take this and push that over like, like that. Oh, I'm just squeezing that over top of the, uh, bring this over here so you guys can see better. Alright, I'm just going to take the excess off. I'm sure you don't have to. It's a meatball, guys. It ain't supposed to be perfect, right? So... Now let's open it up and see what our meatballs look like. Okay, not too bad. Um, okay, this one didn't make one. Well, <laughs> I'm not impressed, so, <laughs> I mean, see this one just stuck, hearing something over by that stew. Got another one out. That's what do you guys think? Have you ever used one? I'm gonna try this a couple more times, but I'm not gonna do it on camera because I'm not gonna bore you guys with this, but I'm uh as of right now if if something happens and starts working for me I'll add it in at the end of this video but I mean we can try one more but I don't think Nope, I'm out. <laughs> Alright guys, there you go. There's the review of this thing, and it pretty much turned out the way everyone else's did. So, I'll get Monkey out here and try to see what she thinks of it, but right now, I'm not impressed. I'll try a couple more, but I think it's going to be the end of this video. So, and I've waited for weeks on this thing. Um... I don't know. Anyway, guys, there you go. That's the uh, meatball stuffing thing maker. You know, I mean, let's try to make just a meatball. Let's see what happens here. Let's put it in the center one. I mean... I mean, really? No. I'm not good with that at all. 
I mean, it's, it's, I'll do it by hand. <laughs> Shea Bear 1000, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now, guys. You take care of yourself and be cool. Bye now.